weeks in a row that the season can go off the rails. Just what is it about this group? Why why that wasn't the case? You guys were able to get back on track. Um, I felt like we all kind of had faith in what we were doing. We knew <clears throat> a lot of us had been in a situation like that before, so just staying positive and, and uh, just having a positive mindset. You know, kind of while you're in it, uh, it does sometimes get hard, but uh, pull pull together from from Gentry all the way down, and uh, uh, we felt like we knew what kind of talent we had. So uh, from there, it's been pretty good. How much do you look back at that game in terms of preparing for them, or do you just kind of throw it out because they've changed their personnel so much? Um, again, I guess we don't even look at it like that. Uh, we just kind of take it game to game, um, no matter what the team is like or what it is. But um, we know that D'Angelo can score. Uh, we know that they've been scoring very, very well. <clears throat> and uh, we also know that we can too. So I think what it's going to come down to is defense. You know, the home court thing has been something that has come up kind of over and over again. Is there anything you can do differently? I mean, is it just kind of what it is? I mean, it's, yeah. Win game. At the end of the day, win game. Do you notice a different atmosphere in the building, though? It does seem like the crowds are better than they were in November, December. I mean, for sure. Um, the energy is definitely there. Uh, it's kind of up to us just to find a way to pull our games. You guys are. Uh, I think sixth in defensive efficiency since since the losing streak. It's like a stretch of like 32 games. Just what what has worked for you guys on that end? I think trying to keep people out the paint. Um, there's a point. There's a stretch there where <clears throat> rebounding wasn't our friend, but uh, we've done a, a much better job of doing that. And then I think just trying not to foul. Um, I think in the beginning we put a lot of people on the free throw line, and then we kind of we kind of cut that out. People always talk about chemistry in terms of offense, but how much of that do you think it's helped defensively just to have maybe more of a Right. I think it, it's kind of the other way around. Um, I think defensively, us getting stops and, and pushing it out kind of fuels our offense. Um, when we get stops and you get the ball to Lowe or, or to Zoe or, or Zion, I mean, or B.I., it, it, it's kind of, you kind of have everything in the open court. So um, I think our stops helps us with our, with our offense. How much have you noticed Lonzo's just growth in the last few? Is it, do you feel like it's been kind of incremental? Or do you feel all of a sudden it was like, oh, this is the guy that, that we knew he could be? I mean, I think he's playing free. Honestly, um, you, you, we've seen this before. Um, obviously, like through high school and college, uh, I, I think he has a chance here to just to, to play free and play his game and him being healthy. And uh, I feel like when you play like that, you, you're the best version of yourself. So uh, he's been playing more, very, very well. When he throws those 50, 60 foot passes, I mean, when you see that go up, are you pretty confident that that's oh, yeah, every time? <laughs> every time. I mean, you saw me running out last game a couple times. Uh, I pretty much just have to be a receiver. He, he's going he's gonna to throw where it needs to be, so I just got to take off. And how much do you think he helps Zion the way that he's been able to get him the ball, the way he's been able to kind of... Helps him out a lot, just getting easy buckets, um, getting getting us into the penalty quick, um, doing it within like the first five seconds in the shot clock. So uh, he the way he plays definitely helps us push our pace and the way we want to play. How much do you think it helps your offense if the other team always has to worry about that possibility of there being like a 50-foot pass or... Right, it helps a lot. Uh, I think it kind of takes away from the offensive rebounding. Um, if we grab the rebound, then they're pretty much in trouble. Uh, yeah, I mean, the doc just came in and, and told us that we can't we can't high five any of the fans. Um, we can't sign anything for them. Uh, we pretty much can't do anything, so. <laughs> but but nah, um, pretty much just to be cautious. Um, everybody here has families and, and, and around kids and everybody, so uh, wash your hands as much as possible. Um, uh, to keep hand, hand sanitizer close. Uh, when you do things like cough, cough to your shirt and to your elbow, but mainly wash your hands. Uh, I think for the most part, this is a virus that uh, we really want to prevent, so.